It finally happened, Universal Audio released an update to their Apollo audio interfaces. It feels like that took for ages to happen and it's finally here. Let's have a quick look. I don't have it in my hands yet, but I used to have the Apollo X4 unit. I used to have an X6 unit and I used to have a couple of other ones a few years ago. So I'm quite familiar with the ecosystem, but there's also a reason why I got out of them and got into RME. Anyways, that is a different story. I'm very happy with my RME. Let's have a look what has changed. I'm very, very excited about this. So there's a whole new line. You got the rec mount interfaces starting with the X6 traditionally, then going up to the X8. Eight, and then there's a new Dante uh, networking cap capable one that came out very recently. And now we have the X4, which I had. There's a video on my channel and the um, quad. Let's look at the Apollo X4 because I can talk about this one. And right away, well, this hasn't changed much. This is pretty much the same body with different buttons, though, I have to say. They're slightly different. They machine differently. But everything else they used again. They recycled that. They already have, you know, the machine set up. And it's a very, it's a tank of a unit. It's very well made. So I don't complain about that. Um, this display is the same, the inputs, outputs are the same, but what's really different is we got much better converters. So they say, we're going to have to test that. So just right now order, if you order it, um, make sure you can return it because this is all theoretical, but if it's true, it's great. Better converters, better headphone, um, amps built in stronger for high impedance headphones, uh, more power, I believe less noise as well. Also, you get more plugins included, but the big kicker is for me is like mix with confidence in any room or through headphones using a polar monitor correction by Sona works. TSP driven from the unit itself, headphone correction. That is freaking awesome. Um, I do that with Real Phones 2.0. It sits on my computer system, not in the DAW, and everything gets cross-feed, it gets corrected a little bit based on the headphone model, and I can simulate listening environments. Now, you can't do that, all of that. This is more just like an EQ curve, but still, it is quite remarkable to do that for your sessions. You're already getting your headphones corrected and so forth. Um, you can correct the speakers, headphones one, headphones two. So with the X, uh, you can only correct one headphone output. With the X6, X8 and so forth, you can correct both headphone outputs. So the X4 always had two headphone outputs and it's been for, out for years and it's been a great unit, but a lot of people say, oh no, the, the converters aren't great. They're too dull, they're too... Before they were warm and they loved it, but now they are not as clean and pristine as RME. I have to say that some of their desktop and rack audio interfaces received crossfeed and nine band parametric EQ. So you can also there change, you know, if you get the curve for your headphones, uh, adjust it, correct that, and also having crossfeed. And that's also DSP driven. So RME is similar, but they're in a similar ballpark price wise. So what is, hasn't changed? They are still, can you believe it, holding on to their shark cores, to their DSP processing. They don't give any details that it has changed, but it hasn't changed. It's kind of obvious it's the same thing. And you don't get more processing power. You're stuck in 20, whatever, 16, whenever they came out, 2018, um, four, four DSPs for the X4 and four DSPs for the quad. The X6 gets six. That's okay, even in 2024 for um, tracking but certain plugins that won't run like the sound city studios that i love just doesn't exist um, for dsp driven uh, processing so there's something not quite right about that it was probably they don't have an alternative they don't have other dsp chips i guess they've probably been looking and can't cram more into those old bodies because i would try to cramp you know eight of them in that x4 just you know, have eight cores in there. You're making a satellite that small, put eight of them in there. In the quad unit, put maybe six, six in, and then the rec units, double it. You know, give something where customers go on all fronts. Wow, I'm getting more. But maybe that's not the path forward. Maybe there's an end of these DSPs in sight. Uh, I can see why. Um, and they just don't have a pathways to the modern technology. So is it still worth it? Yes, I believe, because the price is pretty similar. There was a discount recently two weeks ago, and a lot of people jumped on that. No, no, no. That was just to get rid of the old units. They got you there. 
um, if you can return it, get the new one. No question about it. Pricing here is so they are charging you for this, it seems, right? Pricing, Apollo Monitor Correction add-on. So 79 notify me bundles starts to get expensive. So I thought that is included. I'm a little confused here. So I forgot that I knew this, but Apollo X generation one and new Apollo generation X generation two, blah, blah, whatever, uh, received that as well. Why? Because the DSP is the same. It requires a certain amount of DSP to do these EQ adjustments. Pff, no big deal. The previous generation is just as powerful. So was the, what does that change now lead you with if you have already an X4 or a quad or an X6 or an X... Better converters, right? Better converters, uh, better headphone amps. That is important because I wasn't able to really work with headphones from my X4. I needed an external headphone amp that's more powerful, that's better. It wasn't bad, but the external headphone amp was better. With RME, I don't need that. So uh, if they can close the gap there and have just this one device that, th that does it all, mm, interesting, yeah. Anyways, that is my quick and dirty without having the unit in my hands, but having had one in the past, uh, analysis of this breaking news where uh, Universal Audio is trying to come back into the game. Uh, they've been criticized for some quite some time and they will be criticized for this as well. I guarantee you some people are not going to handle this well would have to see those test results from Julian Krause in Audio Science Review. I want those things measured. I want to see how good these converters are. I need to know that they are the best. And also the same thing goes for the headphone amps. They need to be fantastic. That I can tell pretty quickly with headphone amps. Um, and, you know, they say something, something really quick about that. They say, oh, they perform very well with 300 uh, ohm high impedance headphones but you also you know planar headphones um or the, the new headphone 2 which we will be testing pretty soon i'm already got the review all done pretty much um they they are low impedance headphones so they need a headphone amp that is really really good and uh, has a lot of power but with low impedance yeah um rme does that the baby fist pro fs that is about it. Let me know what you're thinking. Massive beats out.